And uh, there's a in the chat here. John McMaster says, "Have Zach ask the guy on the line about the question in the chat." So, what's the chat? I am not seeing it. I don't look at. I'll, it. I'll read it for you. There's a guy asking. We can read this together here because I'm not sure what it is. We're going to find out together too. Uh, yep. Trey wrote, "What are some symptoms of a scroll compressor that has an issue with the check valve versus a scroll compressor that has an issue with the internal pressure relief valve?" <laughs> oh, that's pretty interesting. Well, the check valve would only be an issue while it's off cycle. When it stops, it'd make a, it could make a strange noise. I've heard of, where the refrigerant runs back into the compressor instead of being checked at the discharge. Wait, so what's the question? It's check valve versus what? Versus um, internal relief, like it's bypassing. Well, I guess it would. It would probably be bypassing before it pressure before it like the whole time. It would be bypassing yeah. under normal pressures rather than bypassing just when it goes kind of high yeah i mean the one without the check valve once it starts i would figure it would run decently yeah you just have equalized pressures all the time rather than just when it's running yeah yeah it would, and then you hear it rushing back in there because i've heard some of them because the check valves when the scroll shut off you hear it go thaw, 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 and then the, and they're shut off goodman does that a lot i don't know i think it's just because it's goodman 